In this tutorial, I'm going to highlight some cool new Excel features that might have slipped under your radar, a couple of which we have wanted forever. Now, these are available to Microsoft 365 users, and some are so new that they're only available to Office Insider users on the beta channel. Now, if ever there was a good time to get Microsoft 365, it's now. And by the way, I don't get paid to recommend Microsoft products. It's just my honest opinion. All right, let's take a look. The ability to unhide multiple worksheets in Excel has been at the top of people's wish list for so long that many have resorted to writing macros to automate this task. Well, finally, it's here. Right click any worksheet tab, unhide, and then in the dialog box, you can use control to select non-contiguous sheets, or you can hold down shift to select arrange and click OK. And now they're unhidden. Now you can do the happy dance. If you work with data that requires large row heights, then you'll be overjoyed with the new ability for Excel to smoothly scroll across rows without it jumping to the next row. This feature is on by default, assuming you have the update. You should note that the row height is set to a maximum of 409. So if I try and set it to 410, I get the error. Row height must be between 0 and 409 although you can get around this by merging cells vertically. Workbook Statistics is a handy tool when you're working with large and or complex Excel files. You'll find it on the Review tab and then Workbook Statistics. This opens the Workbook Statistics dialog displaying counts and other information about the current worksheet and the workbook as a whole. The end of sheet cell is particularly useful for detecting cells that Excel thinks still contain data that need cleaning up, which is a common problem, although thankfully not in this file. The navigation pane is a great way to get an overview of the workbook's layout. You can open it from the View tab and then Navigation. You can use the Expand and Collapse buttons to focus on specific sheets. From there, you can see the elements that make up each worksheet and navigate directly to them. So for example, if I want to see what graphic number six is, I click on it and you can see it's now selected in the worksheet. The icons indicate what type of element it is. For example, here we have a cell range. This is a graphic object, for example, shapes or icons or images. We also have charts. And if we look in the analysis tab, you can see we have pivot tables. And in the data tab, we have a table. You can use the search bar to search for items by name. And you can right click and rename the elements. And for object elements like charts that I've selected here, you can also delete or hide them. If you use conditional formatting with long formulas, then you'll be pleased to see that you can now resize the dialog boxes. So opening the Manage Rules dialog box, here I can resize it horizontally and vertically. I can also edit the rule and resize this one, although this only resizes horizontally. I can't resize it vertically, even though it gives me the pull handle. And you'll notice in the Rules Manager dialog box that we can now duplicate rules directly from here. If you don't see these features in your version of Office yet, you can try updating or switching to the beta channel. I hope you're as excited as me about these new tools. Tell me in the comments below which is your favorite. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.